Hi everyone. So in this tutorial I am going to be doing the horror cup that I did for the hippo review tutorial. So I'm starting off with a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. It's been sanded and spray painted ultra matte white. I'm applying a very thin layer of epoxy on the cup and then I'm going to apply my glitter it's called white sand it's a super pretty super pretty white with just a hint of silver so I'm just going back over it again just to make sure that I didn't miss any spots And then I'm going to let it dry overnight. It's fast set epoxy and I used less than two mLs so it won't even take that long but I just let it sit overnight. So once that was all set up I did do a layer of epoxy. I don't I was out of my quick coat that I like to use at the time so I did I believe it was 30 mLs of epoxy and that gave me a smooth surface and now I am going to apply my decals. Um, I sealed them twice with Krylon Triple Thick and I sprayed in two different directions. The first uh, coat I did up and down and the second coat I sprayed side to side. You want to make sure that you have them completely covered. Um, I did place the decals on my cup beforehand and I took a video of it. That way I could go back um, when I was ready to put the water slides permanently on the cup. I had a reference video to go back and see how I had them laid out. I'm actually going to be using two different cups in this tutorial because I did not record the power wash for this particular cup so I started a new cup and on that cup I only put um, Jay, uh, Jason and Michael. I left Freddie out of it because the decals were so small on this one that I wanted them to be a little bit bigger. and. In order to make them bigger I wouldn't have enough room for all three so so I just planned it out ahead of time and then took a video that way I could make sure that I had them exactly where I wanted them to where it wouldn't look too crowded on the cup and I wanted to make sure that I had enough surface area for the power wash so now I'm just using the squeegee to get out any wrinkles any excess moisture and the hippo water slide paper worked really well if you watch the tutorial or the review video you'll remember that it's only for inkjet printers they don't have it for laser for my laser printer paper I love the sunny scopa I think it's the best but for the inkjet this one's good
So now this cup sat overnight and then I did a layer of epoxy, a thin layer, I think it was probably 10 mLs of epoxy over the water slides. because I did not want to power wash directly over the decals in case um, I didn't like the power wash. You can wipe the power wash off with acetone if you don't like it. So here I am doing the power wash. I covered my images with the Dawn soap and then I just spritzed in other areas spray painted it red and immediately rinsed it off so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back over it with another color so again I'm covering any areas that I don't want spray paint on and then just little spritz here and there and now I'm coming back over it with black spray paint And then you can take like a q-tip and some acetone and wipe off any areas that you don't like so we're back to the original cup I didn't like how the power wash came out on this one I didn't wait for the for the colors for the first color to dry before I put on the second color so they just kind of blended together and so I didn't really like how it came out So I did do a layer of epoxy over this power wash um, on the second cup that I started. I did not put a layer of epoxy before I did my drips and both ways worked out just fine. I'm using Nice and Thick from CCDIY to thicken my epoxy. And I think I mixed up 15 mLs of epoxy. And you just want to add just a little bit of the nice and thick at a time. Stir it up, add a little bit more until you get it the thickness that, that you want. I really like using the nice and thick. Before I discovered the nice and thick, I would let my epoxy sit for about 45 minutes when it was starting to... To thicken up but this way goes so much quicker so I added some red acrylic paint and then one drop of black acrylic paint just to give it that darker deep red color and now I'm just gonna take my popsicle stick and apply the epoxy around the top rim of the cup And I, I made it really, really thick so it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't dripping down like I wanted it to, even banging it on the table like that. So I just added um, some more epoxy anywhere where I wanted more drips. And then I like to just go in around the cup and just add it in some little um, some little drip splatters on the cup. So I, even though I the power wash didn't come out the way I wanted it to, I was happy with how the cup came out. 
I know that this was a quick video. I just used parts that I had already recorded for the review and added in the power wash. Um, so I hope this, this tutorial helped. Um, right here, if your drips are starting to drip down too far past where you want them, just turn your cup upside down and let them run back down the other way.